I stand? Get out your apples and let's reach up high and grab two of them. Way up high in the apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Mmm, they were good. Great job, sit down. Hold those apples right here in your lap and your eyes are right here on Mrs. Stewart. Today, I'm so excited to share with you more things about the apple. We had apples today. We learned about a apple. And now I'm gonna talk to you more about apples. Look at my card right here. On our card, we see a juicy apple. But where does the apples come from? Do apples grow in the ground? No. Apple tree. It comes from an apple tree. Remember how we have talked about when God created the world and when he told the grass to come up forth through the mud, through that dirt, and he made those trees. He made orange trees and pineapples and banana trees, and he made the apple trees. He made the apples to grow on the trees, Connor. And we can just go right up to a tree and pick that apple right out of the tree and eat it. But most of the time, we can go to the grocery store and get apples. Now, in my basket, I have an apple in here. Look at my apple. This apple is yellow and red. Sometimes we can say that the sun, pretending that the sun kissed my apple because there's some yellow on my apple too. But most of the time when you see an apple, it's most of the time it's red, a red juicy apple. But they also come yellow and they come green. Now I have to tell you, green apples are my favorite apples. They are kind of sour when you bite into them. They're really tart, sour or tart, you could say. They make the best apple pies. If you cut up a green apple and you put it in a pie with cinnamon and sugar and you mix it all together and you put butter in there and you bake it in the oven, Elijah, then it tastes so yummy because those green apples just make it taste so good. But God made all different kind of apples, the red apples, the yellow apples, and the green apples. And sometimes you will find an apple that is yellow and red. So fun. Now those apples do grow on the trees, but first what happens is that, do you see these little pink flowers right here? These are called blossoms. Say that with me. Blossom. Blossom. Connors, what is this called? Blossom. A blossom. The blossom is a flower, a pink flower. And in the spring, the pink flower starts to grow. And then do you see this insect right here? Let me show you. Do you see that insect right there? Con bee. I'm going to ask Carter. Carter, what is that? A bee. A bee. Boys and girls watching, can you see that bee right there? The bees like to visit the blossoms. And when they do, it helps the blossoms to grow. And then they turn into, helps to turn into the apples. And then the apples, oh, they're so delicious. Now, first the apples are green. They start off green. And then as they grow and they get bigger and they get bigger and they get bigger, then they start to turn and change their colors. Now, some apples will stay green, like Mrs. Stewart said. I love those green apples. But some apples will turn red and some will turn yellow. And they're so delicious. And then in the fall, the farmer will get his baskets and people will go and start picking apples off the tree and get those big baskets and they put them in trucks and they take those apple baskets to the grocery stores. Sometimes they even use big trucks and big machines that shake the tree so hard, just like in our fun poem that we just said, how we were shaking the tree. Sometimes the machines do it and they shake the tree and the apples fall into a special kind of container. And then they take the apples to the, the, to the grocery store. And then sometimes they take some of the apples to special places that are gonna make yummy things. You can make, take them to bakeries, or when your mommy buys them in the store, your mommy can take them home and make yummy things, like the applesauce like we pretended to eat. Oh, that's so good. When you mash up apples and you put some cinnamon and a little bit of sugar in it, you can make applesauce. Oh, it's so good. Or, like I said, you could cut them up and put them in a pie 
and make apple pie. Maybe you've eaten apple pie before. It's so yummy. And then when you put it in the oven and you could eat it with ice cream, it's so good. Or you can make muffins. Maybe you've had apple muffins for breakfast. Or maybe you have had apple cookies. Apple cookies are yummy too. So there's lots of things that you can make with apples. Now, guess what? Oh, boys and girls watching, I have a surprise for you. And the boys and girls right here, do you know how we were learning our shapes? We learned about the square and the triangle and the rectangle. Do you know that God put a shape inside of the apple? I'm going to show you today. Inside of the apple is a shape. Now, Mrs. Stewart brought her knife. Do we play with knives? No, we let mommy and daddy use the knives and, and teachers. Teachers can use, so I'm going to use, be careful. I have a special thing over it so I can be careful with it. So I'm going to take that special thing off and I'm going to use my knife carefully. And watch, I'm going to cut my apple in half so that you can see inside of our apple. Oh, oh it's so exciting. Now, there's a few things inside of our apple. There's the fruit. The fruit is inside of our apple. Do you see the fruit? The fruit is white. What color is the fruit? White. It's white. This part is the skin of the apple. The color, the red or the yellow or the green is the skin of the apple. And then this is the fruit and look what's inside of our apple. Seeds. There are seeds in there. That's where the seeds are. And sometimes when like squirrels and other animals eat the apples, they drop the seeds and then the seeds get in the ground. And when God sends the warm sunshine and the cool rain, then it helps the seeds to grow into the trees. And then the trees turn into the apples. And then, or the trees grow the apples and then we have more apple trees so we can make more yummy things. But do you see that shape that is inside of our fruit? It's a star. God put the star inside of an apple. So if you have apples at your house, you can have your mommy cut the apple open for you and you can see that there is a star inside. Right here, you can see it has the core. This is the core. What is that called? Core. The core. And what are these little black things in here? Seeds. The seeds. And what's this white part? This part's the what? Fruit. The fruit. That's right. This is the fruit. And this is the yummy part. And oh, it is so delicious. And when you cut it up, you can either make apple pies or your applesauce. And if you get it and you put it in a blender, you can even squeeze it and make apple juice. Oh, if you like apple juice, say yum, yum. Yum, yum. Oh, it's so yummy and delicious. So where do the apples grow? On a what? In the trees. And then you can buy them in the grocery store or you can go to a market and buy your apples. And what is inside? What shape did God put inside star. the apple? A star, that's right. And what are these little brown things called? Or the brownish black things? Seeds, that's right. And what is this white part called? The fruit. The fruit. And what is that insect that likes to go and get on these little blossoms? What kind of, the bee, the bumblebee, that's right. Isn't it fun to learn about apples? And maybe today for a snack, you could go home and eat an apple and have fun too.